Hello guys welcome back to our anime moments. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Renegade Immortal based on novel. So let's start. In the ancient god's body, there were demonic cultivators searching almost every inch of it. The ancient god's body was very large, but to the cultivators, although it was a bit of a pain to search through, they all knew the place every well. They didn't even fear the chi waves. Some of them even charged into the chi waves to search. Even after all that searching, they still found nothing. However, none of the demonic cultivators stopped, because whether or not they find the soul devourer directly affected their future. While Wang Lin was surrounded by the tentacles, he entered a strange state. All around him was darkness filled with countless stars. He couldn't feel his body, but it didn't feel the same as when his soul leaves his body. He could clearly feel himself quickly moving forward. The shiny stars became larger and larger, until they became huge sphere. Shortly after, he saw a giant. The giant sat cross-legged on a large sphere with his hands together, forming a seal. He moved his right hand and one of the spheres in the distance exploded, releasing a terrifying blast. The giant didn't care at all. A stream of golden liquid flew from the exploded sphere to the giant's right hand. Shortly after, the giant rubbed his chest and a colorful light came out. After the light disappeared, a normal-sized baby appeared in the giant's hand. He gave the baby a cold look. His right hand pinched the golden liquid and dripped it onto the baby, then he stood up and threw the baby toward a sphere. Suddenly, the golden liquid surrounded the baby. It moved like a golden meteor and quickly slammed into the sphere. The speed was very fast and the impact was great. It wasn't until it was close to the center of the sphere that it slowed down. Shortly after, the giant didn't even give the baby other look and disappeared. A thought flashed through Wang Lin's head as he watched the scene before him. A trace of shock flashed through his eyes. This person must be an ancient god. Wang Lin now finally understood the ancient god's power. Their spheres were obviously what Sai Tu Nan had mentioned before. The world they lived in was a spherical object called a planet. Looking at it now, every single star here was really a planet. They looked very small because they were a great distance away, but in reality they were large beyond comparison. With a wave of his hand, the ancient god could destroy a planet. What kind of power was this? What kind of magic technique? A thought flashed through Wang Lin's head. He understood why ancient gods had almost all disappeared. How much spiritual energy would a body that large require? If they continued to grow stronger, how many planets would be destroyed? Wang Lin was silent for a while. He looked at the planet the baby was in. With that thought, he suddenly felt like he was on the planet. There were many cultivators on this planet. Besides the few top cultivators, who noticed the disturbance caused by the baby's arrival, no one else noticed. Even for those top cultivators, they still couldn't find anything. From the clothes they wore, it was clear that they were very different from the world Wang Lin was from. Wang Lin quickly sunk into the ground and arrived at where the baby was. The baby was wrapped in the golden liquid and was quietly sleeping in the planet's core. After an unknown amount of time, there were more and more cultivators on the surface, it became very busy many years later, the entire planet became a dead planet. Then, the youth suddenly moved and the entire planet exploded. In the middle of the exploded planet, the youth walked out. He was thousands of feet tall and his eyes were cold, without any emotion. The child has his eyes closed. He seemed to be searching for something with his divine sense. After a long time, he muttered to himself, My name is Tu Sai. Suddenly, he opened his eyes and stared at the void where Wang Lin was and coldly said, I'm the ancient god's successor. You should inherit some of my memories, stay alert. Wang Lin was stunned for a moment. Suddenly, he opened his eyes. He was no longer in the void, but inside a transparent filament, inheritance, a thought flashed through his mind. Everything he saw earlier must be related to the ice crystal. In that moment, there were three golden words in his brain. He scanned them with his divine sense and immediately recognized them, ancient god tactic, Wang Lin closed his eyes. After a long time, he opened his them and revealed a strange smile. Wang Lin understood that what the sky devil magician spent so much effort to get was the ancient god's inheritance. According to the information he obtained from a part of the memory, Wang Lin knew that every time an ancient god died, an inheritance would form, and whoever obtains the inheritance would become an ancient god. The ancient god's inheritance was split into two parts. One part was power and the other part was knowledge. 
Only when someone had both parts could they immediately become an ancient god and obtain everything an ancient god had. But not all ancient gods' bodies would create an inheritance. Only after the ancient god reached a certain level and his body remained undamaged for 100,000 years was there a chance for an inheritance to form. Overall, the chance was not great. In fact, it could be said that the chances were very small. To this day, the amount of ancient gods that were capable of producing an inheritance were few. There was a very important reason for this. Aside from all the other requirements of forming an inheritance, the ancient god must willingly give up his life. An ancient god's life was very long. If they accidentally died, there was no chance of creating an inheritance. Only those in their prime who used their lives as the price could produce an inheritance. As for the ancient god's family, they were extremely cruel when it came to raising their young. They often just tossed them into a planet. Once attached to a planet, they would act like a parasite and absorb the planet for nutrition. When the baby reached a certain stage of maturity, the planet died. Of course, there were chances of failure with this method as well, but the ancient gods were a merciless race. They didn't care about the life and death of the babies. This was also another reason why the ancient gods were so scarce. Wang Lin took a deep breath. A thought flashed through his mind. According to the memory, he knew that there were no magical treasures or any residue of immortal drugs. They were made up by people with ulterior motives. He also used the memories he had just obtained, as well as his connection with the ancient god's body and found out that the inheritance was already obtained by someone tens of thousands of years ago. The most important thing for Wang Lin was finding a way to lead the ancient god's body. The memories contained the answer, but the answer made Wang Lin feel helpless. For for an ordinary person to leave this place was very hard, but for a successor it was very simple. All they have to do was be in the ancient god's body and wish to leave. However, there was a little change in all of this and that was in the part of the memory Wang Lin obtained. There was a small mention of the reason why the ancient god Tu Sai gave up his life to create an inheritance. The ancient god's race had passed on a mysterious magical technique for a long time. Its name was Flowing Ink Transformation Divine Technique. Once the technique had been successfully mastered, the ancient god would split his divine consciousness into ten. Then ten into tens of thousands and tens of thousands into millions. Each of the divine consciousnesses would have cultivation not inferior to the original body. The creator of this technique was unknown. It was just that in countless years, no one has succeeded in cultivating this technique. Tusai could be considered a genius in cultivation. After failing to produce any results while cultivating this divine technique, he came up with a crazy idea. It was to do reverse cultivation. He gave up his long life, and at the moment of his death, during the moment his soul started to dissipate, forcibly used the divine technique to keep the pieces of his soul from disappearing. This was to keep cultivating until he achieved results similar to the flowing ink transformation divine technique. Unfortunately, if Tusai had more time, he would have really succeeded. However, there was one change, and that was a red-haired man who charged into the ancient god's body. That person's cultivation was amazing. He forcibly took the inheritance of power and waged a war with the ancient god Tu Sai's remaining soul. Finally, because Tu Sai was already dead, his remaining soul was destroyed. The sea of knowledge split into two. One part became the blood sea to trap the red-haired man, causing him to be unable to leave. The other part became the dead soul sea to prevent anyone from entering. It was there that the complete inheritance of knowledge was hidden. A thought flashed through Wang Lin's mind. He carefully scanned the inherited memory. The more information he had, the better he grasped the situation. Comparing all the information, Wang Lin felt that his biggest gain after entering the land of the ancient god were the three words, ancient god tactic, in his brain. In addition of holding part of the ancient god Tu Sai's memory, it also contained an incomplete law of supernatural powers. This ancient god tactic was something that was in the ancient god's head since youth, and was a technique that they practiced all their life to control supernatural powers. The essence of these supernatural power was one word, plunder. Plunder everything. The memory Wang Lin had obtained contained only the chance for the first two levels. However, after he examined them, he couldn't help but be surprised in his heart. His heart was pounding. If he followed this cultivation technique, then forming his nascent soul was no longer a dream. After pondering a while, Wang Lin thought of something. He reached his hand out to the membrane surrounding him. His own body shined a colorful light. He muttered a few very complicated chants, then his whole body disappeared and reappeared where he disappeared from earlier. The moment his body appeared, he immediately saw a chi wave in the distance. 
the boundless and endless qi wave roared toward him. Wang Lin's body was motionless. He closed his eyes and performed a few techniques with his hand. When the qi wave arrived, he pushed his hand forward. His body integrated into the qi wave and was carried by it into the distance. If it was before, Wang Lin wouldn't be able to do this, but now that he had inherited part of the ancient god's memory, it could be said that he was more familiar with the inside of the ancient god's body than anyone else. It can even be said that if he wished to hide, then no one would be able to find him, besides the red-haired man who was trapped in the blood sea and inherited the ancient god's power. Using his amazing cultivation, he would be able to find him. A thought flashed through his mind while he rode the qi wave. After the qi wave arrived at a certain point, he rushed out of the qi wave. Then, borrowing the force of the qi wave, he arrived at the end of the sky. He grabbed the space with this right hand and opened up a rift. With a flash, his body entered the rift. When he reappeared, he had already left the qi sea. He flew toward the Zifu Sea of Knowledge at the ancestral point. Wang Lin decided to personally observe the sea of dead soul from the outside. If it ultimately was what the memory stated it was, then he was ready to implement a very bold plan. After leaving the Qi Sea, before his eyes was a glittering world. If it was in the past, Wang Lin would think this place was endless without beginning or end, but now, he had inherited the memory. This place was no longer mysterious or large beyond comparison. During the flight, Wang Lin's mood was calm. Often, his hand would grab at the air, creating a rift. After entering the rift, he would appear thousands of feet from where he previously was. The right hand of the demonic cultivator grabbed empty air. He was stunned. His face suddenly darkened as he let out a cry. He threw his right hand forward as his whole body suddenly charged forward tens of thousands of feet toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin revealed a cold smile. He waved his hand in front of him and disappeared into a rift. The demonic cultivator was stunned again. He blinked his eyes, and without a word, began to scan the area with this divine sense. His divine sense quickly connected with his companions and spread the news that he had found Wang Lin. In a few short breaths, with all of them passing on the message, almost all the demonic cultivators in the land of the ancient god charged toward this location. Meanwhile, the few dozen demonic cultivators that were already here spread their divine sense to look for Wang Lin. They quickly found Wang Lin and flew at an incredible speed toward him. Inheriting part of the ancient god's memory didn't raise Wang Lin's cultivation at all, but within the ancient god's body, he could go anywhere he wanted. No one else knew this place better than him. Even the red-haired man who inherited the ancient god's power couldn't compete with him at this. Needless to say, the type of inheritances the two of them inherited were very different. When the demonic cultivators found Wang Lin, they began to charge full speed at him. However, even with their divine sense locked onto Wang Lin, they were struck by the sudden discovery that they had lost all trace of him. It seemed as if he knew the place better than they did. As more and more demonic cultivators arrived at the location between the Qi Si and Ancestral Point, their combined divine sense was enormous and can easily find Wang Lin, but the moment their divine sense locked onto Wang Lin, he would just strangely disappear. After this happened a few times no matter how much they looked, they couldn't find a trace of Wang Lin. Wang Lin sneered. He waved his right hand and entered the rift. After exiting, he arrived at Ancestral Point which was outside the Zifu Sea of Knowledge. The Zifu Sea of Knowledge before Wang Lin was like a large ball. It was clearly divided in half, one blood red and the other pitch black. The blood red half had to be the blood sea and the pitch black part must be the dead soul sea while looking at the strange ball in front of him, Wang Lin remembered something. Back then, the fight between the red-haired man and the remains of the ancient god's soul was earth-shattering. They fought to kill each other with the ancient god's body as the battleground. In the end, the ancient god Tu Sai lost because he had already died and only had some of his soul remaining, but he split his sea of knowledge into two. One was the dead soul sea to prevent anyone from getting the inheritance of knowledge and the other half was the blood sea, made to trap the red-haired man. Witnessing the scene before him, he really admired the likes of six desire devil lords master, sky devil magician. That person was a genius to think of using the desire of the ancient god, with the ancient god's bone as a guide, to temporarily open a passage into the dead soul sea to get to the knowledge inheritance. If not for the appearance of the middle-aged man, sky devil magician would have successfully obtained the knowledge inheritance. A thought flashed through Wang Lin's mind. He moved his body forward and charged toward the dead soul sea. The moment his body was near the black area, a black mist suddenly came out and surrounded him, preventing him from moving forward. 
Wang Lin tried moving to move in other directions, but no matter which way he went, the black fog would appear to block his path. No matter how hard he charged forward, he was unable to get past the black fog. Wang Lin pondered for a while. He slammed his bag of holding and drank a few big gulps of liquid spiritual energy, then he sat cross-legged and started to cultivate. His eyes revealed a cold look as his hand formed different techniques in front of him. Soon, countless illusionary circles appeared around him. His eyes grew brighter and brighter, and his hands moved faster and faster. The restriction illusionary circles started to increase. After a long time, his hand suddenly stopped and pressed forward. The illusionary circles formed countless rings and quickly spread in all directions. Soon after, Wang Lin stood up. He placed his right hand on his chest and his left hand on his right shoulder. Both hands seemed to be performing strange seals while both his legs moved him forward slowly. Suddenly, a black snake appeared from where he had stepped. It quickly climbed up his body until it split into two at his chest. The black snake followed along his arms and arrived at each of the strange seals that both of his hands had formed. In an instant, a skull-sized ball with many tentacles attached to it appeared in front of Wang Lin. Wang Lin roared lowly, ancient god, break. His eyes became cold and threw both of his hands to his sides. The black sphere charged forward like lightning, quickly catching up to the illusionary circles as it charged at the black fog. This ancient god break was the only technique that Wang Lin could use after reading the ancient god tactic. The power of this technique wasn't for attack, but to use a large amount of spiritual energy to break all restrictions. The liquid spiritual energy Wang Lin drank earlier was turned into that black sphere by the ancient god break technique. At the same time, Wang Lin charged forward like a meteor. The first thing that touched the black fog was Wang Lin's illusionary circles. The moment they touched it, it was like hot iron touching snow. The fog quickly melted away. The ancient god break technique was based on the ancient god tactics, but right now Wang Lin was just using spiritual energy to get by. He continued to move forward. As the wave couldn't stand the pressure of the fog anymore again and started to shrink, Wang Lin finally reached the end of the fog. After a quick glance behind him, Wang Lin let out a bitter laugh, then turned around to leave. At the bottom of the fog was a continuous layer of purple lightning. If he carelessly entered, he was bound to die. Also, below the layer of purple lightning he saw a black sea. Within the black sea's roaring water were creatures that looked like dragons, but weren't dragons, that stared at Wang Lin through the layers of purple lightning. This was not a place that Wang Lin could enter by force. It seemed that before he even entered the dead soul sea, he would die. Wang Lin had a very decisive personality. The moment he saw something was wrong, he backed off. The waves started to collapse. The moment before the gap was about to be sealed, he charged out. He stared back at the black fog. His face was gloomy and uncertain. If he couldn't enter the dead soul sea, then he wouldn't be able to leave the ancient god's body. But with his current strength, entering the dead soul sea was impossible. Even the likes of Six Devil Magician wouldn't be able to enter the Dead Soul Sea. The only person that could enter was the person who inherited the ancient god's power. Wang Lin pondered as he stared at the other half of the huge sphere, the Blood Sea. This was the place the red-haired man was trapped in. If he could break free, then entering the Dead Soul Sea was easy. It could be said that this man's chances of breaking into the Dead Soul Sea were much higher than Wang Lin's. After all, within the Dead Soul Sea contained the inheritance of knowledge. If the red-haired man obtained it, then he would have obtained both inheritances and would immediately become an ancient god. Wang Lin stared at the blood sea, his mouth gradually revealing a small smile. He thought about the events that had occurred earlier. It because Wang Lin was a soul devourer that all those demonic cultivators were crazily searching for him. Then for what reason were they searching for him? He thought back to what happened before, when he met the large wandering soul that was about to become a soul devourer. The appearance of such a large wandering soul was not normal. As a soul devourer, Wang Lin knew that, in the decaying world, the soul devourers had very clear boundaries between territories. If a wandering soul was about to evolve into a soul devourer, a soul devourer would stop the evolution by devouring that wandering soul. Unless there was no soul devourer nearby, would a wandering soul be able to evolve successfully? Because there was already a soul devourer in the third realm, such a large wandering soul should not exist. It was very likely that under some special circumstances with the help of external forces, this was possible. Especially considering that the soul devourer seemed to be in a strange state, as if it was sleeping, not aware of its surroundings. Wang Lin knew the answer. 
the sleeping state of the soul devourer was caused by someone. The purpose was to allow other wandering souls to evolve into soul devourers. It revealed that the other party had some grand scheme. This plan required two soul devourers to complete. Hunchback Meng was able to come back from the dead. There must be some shocking secret behind it all. Also, the capture of Duan Mu and Wang Qingyu. The more Wang Lin analyzed the situation, the more he started to grasp the grand picture. He felt like he had almost seen through the mysteries. Wang Lin stared at the blood sea. His expression was calm. Someone within the ancient god's body who has the power to control all these demonic cultivators must be the person who inherited the ancient god's power. It must be the red-haired man trapped in the blood sea. If it really was that person, then the reason why they wanted two soul devourer was clear. Besides leaving the blood sea, Wang Lin couldn't think of any other reason. Wang Lin pondered a little. A cold look flashed through his eyes. He looked at the blood sea again as he held his finger to his brow. His body started to turn transparent as he entered the heaven-defying bead space. In the heaven-defying bead space, Wang Lin looked at Si Chu Nan and his parents, then sat down where there were few floating lights. Since he had entered the core formation stage, he was no longer restricted from bringing items with spiritual energy into the heaven-defying bead space. This was a very clear change in the bead. Wang Lin decided that unless it was his last resort, he wasn't going to look for the red-haired man to open up the dead soul sea. Now that he had the ancient god tactic and have many treasures to help increase his cultivation, he decided to go into closed-door training to attempt to reach the nascent soul stage. He took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and focused his divine sense on the three big words left in his brain. Gradually, complex techniques appeared one by one in his heart. The first layer of the ancient god tactic contained three parts, stealing spiritual energy, swallowing spiritual energy, and melting spiritual energy. The moment each ancient god was born, their body would automatically use the first technique. But as the ancient god grew up to a child, the first layer would cultivate to the melting spiritual energy stage. If the ancient god broke into the second layer, he could absorb the planet's energy. If this was not achieved, then the baby would keep sleeping. Once a certain amount of time passed, the golden liquid surrounding the baby would disappear. After losing the protection that prevented people from detecting him, the only road left was to be found and devoured by others. After studying the first technique for a very long time, Wang Lin let out a breath and opened both his eyes, revealing a contemplative look. After studying this technique, Wang Lin understood one of the reasons why the ancient god's body was so large. Ancient gods focused on training their bodies and rarely used weapons. It could even be said that their bodies were the best treasures. Their body's hardness could compare to the best treasures in the world. The focus of the ancient god's tactic was to use all of the spiritual energy that one steals to reinforce the body. Once the limit of the body is reached, one must expand the body, or else their cultivation would stop. The larger the body becomes, the more spiritual energy the body requires. After reaching a certain size, the ancient god would experience body reconstruction. This was processed to increase the quality of the body. To an ancient god, the more times their bodies experience reconstruction, the stronger their cultivation and bodies become. If Wang Lin didn't have the spiritual energy stealing technique, he would need to spend anywhere from several months to several years of time to digest the Dantian, and he would only be able to absorb 70 to 80 percent of it while the remaining would be lost. Although time moved faster in the heaven defying bead space, it would still waste a lot of time. However, in what was only an instant in the real world, he was able to completely absorb the Dantian. His core spun in a pattern, sending out waves of spiritual energy to his body. Wang Lin's eyes glistened. A single Dantian allowed him to reach the peak of the mid-stage of core formation, one step away from the late stage. Wang Lin's right hand moved toward his bag of holding and took out bottles of immortal pills made by Li Mu Wan. He started to put them into his mouth, one by one. Time flew by really quickly. The moment a pill was consumed, the spiritual energy stealing technique would completely absorb it. Right before the spiritual energy entered this body, Wang Lin would redirect it toward his core. As a result, his cultivation quickly increased as he broke through the mid-stage of core format and into the late stage. Next, Wang Lin took out the most valuable object in his bag of holding, the spinal liquid that he obtained from the dragon in the tunnel. The spinal liquid from the dragon was only enough to fill a small bottle. One could see how precious it was. This was the most precious drug Wang Lin had obtained so far. After hesitating, he opened up the bottle. After drinking a gulp, his body released a burning heat. 
the spiritual energy stealing technique activated and quickly circulated the spiritual energy. Time slowly passed. Wang Lin could clearly feel his core become larger, its color more bright, and it spinning even faster. After the gulp of spinal liquid was absorbed, Wang Lin took another. One day, two days, three days, until a month later, Wang Lin had been closed eye cultivating the entire time. The spiritual energy stealing technique was constantly active in his body. There were only ten drops of the spinal liquid left. The core in his body was about the size of two fists. Its color was golden with faint glow of red. Every time it spun, the meridians in his body would ache, but he still hadn't broken into the nascent soul stage. A month ago, Wang Lin took a pill that would increase the chances of his nascent soul forming, but the pill only turned the core red, with no sign of it breaking and forming a nascent soul. After pondering for a while, Wang Lin let out a sigh. He wondered if others had this much difficulty forming their nascent soul, but it seemed it was a lot harder than he had imagined. He was running low on pills in his bag of holding, and there wasn't much liquid spiritual energy left. After pondering for a while, he arrived at where Situ Nan and his parents were. He cowed out a few times in front of his parents, then pointed his finger to his brow and left the heaven-defying bead space. Outside the sea of knowledge, Wang Lin's body went from an illusionary form to more and more solid one. He stared at the sea of knowledge and let out a sigh. Based on his plans before, if he was lucky enough to enter the nascent soul stage, then he might have a chance to enter the dead soul sea. Perhaps the moment he gained the inheritance, he would be able to leave the ancient god's body. But now, he wasn't confident. After pondering for a while, Wang Lin raised his hand and a cold look appeared in his eyes. Now there was only one road left. If he didn't want to be trapped here, always avoiding the pursuit of the demonic cultivators forever, there was only one way. His right hand grabbed at the void, created a rift, and entered it. After coming out, he left the sea of knowledge and arrived somewhere within the Qi Sea. After he appeared, he hesitated. Both of his hands came together and sent out a few rays of light in all directions, creating many rifts. As the rifts were sealed up, he spread out his divine sense in all directions. As a result, the demonic cultivators that had been bitterly looking for him noticed his presence and quickly charged toward him. Soon, the demonic cultivators appeared near Wang Lin, one by one. They stared at Wang Lin, revealing smiles. One of them was Hunchback Meng. After he saw Wang Lin, that feeling of disgust appeared. Without a word, his right hand reached out to grab Wang Lin. Wang Lin's expression was normal, and he was very calm. As Hunchback Meng reached toward him, he sneered. Don't you want to break the seal on your master? The moment Wang Lin said those words, although all the surrounding demonic cultivators' expressions remained normal, their eyes were filled with surprise. Hunchback Meng was stunned and he stopped his right hand. The moment the voice was heard, Hunchback Meng felt like he was being held by an invisible hand and was thrown back. He stopped after spitting out a few mouthfuls of black blood, then kneeled on the ground. There wasn't any resentment in his face. He respectfully said, Greetings Lord Duo Mu. Meanwhile, all the other demonic cultivators kneeled down. The middle-aged man that had destroyed Sky Devil Magician's plan appeared before Wang Lin, staring at him with a cold expression. Wang Lin's expression was calm as he replied, You really are a soul devourer. Very good, follow me. After the middle-aged man finished speaking, he waved his hand in the void and a rift hundreds of feet wide appeared in the sky. He glanced at Wang Lin, then floated into the rift. Wang Lin stayed silent and entered the rift as well. Behind them, all the demonic cultivators followed suit. But right as they were about to enter the crack, it started to close up. In the blink of an eye, the rift disappeared without a trace. Besides Wang Lin and Dou Mu, no one else entered. As the rift folded, what appeared before Wang Lin wasn't the blood sea he expected, but a space illuminated by a dark purple light. This space wasn't large, only about a hundred feet in each direction. Floating in the four corners were some strangely shaped instruments. Waves of gentle light emitted from them. Next to each instrument sat a cultivator, each one cultivating next to an instrument. Their figures looked like doe moos. They kept their human forms and didn't turn into demons. Wang Lin scanned the area and counted a total of nine people, all cultivating in the room. The moment the two entered, all the cultivators opened up their eyes. One by one, they activated multiple techniques on each of the instruments, causing purple light to shine from them. Domu turned around. His unblinking eyes were fixated on Wang Lin. Wang Lin took a few steps back. His pupils suddenly contracted. 
he placed his right hand near his bag of holding as he stared at the person in front of him. This was very different from what he expected. One of the nine cultivators said, Domu, we can't support this for long, three hours at the most. Quickly, explain everything. Golden light shot out of Domu's eyes while he stared at Wag Lin. He said, little guy, you managed to disappear. Why did you appear again? Wang Lin frowned. He stared at Domu. Right as he was about to speak, his left hand formed a seal. His left hand swiped behind him using the heaven technique, which he learned from the ancient god tactic. It allowed him to go anywhere in the ancient god's body. The moment the rift appeared before Wang Lin, a purple light shot out from one of the instruments and destroyed it. Domu's expression was calm. There was no hint of emotion. Wang Lin's heart sank. He stared at Domu and slowly said, to leave the land of the ancient god. A tall red-faced cultivator said, frowning, Domu, you always say things too slowly. Little guy, let me tell you, the moment the seal on Tar Sen is removed, everyone here will die. He is the only person who will leave, back then, eleven of us arrived on this wild planet. We originally planned to create a residence here. But we didn't expect to find that this place contained spiritual energy of the ancient god. After I investigated a bit, I met a cultivator named Tar Sen outside of the ancient god's body. This person's cultivation was very strong. Even with all of us working together, we weren't a match for him. The red-haired old man's voice grew louder. He talked very quickly. As soon as he finished speaking, another cultivator raised his head and gloomily said, This Tar Sen didn't kill us, but invited us to enter this land of the ancient god. This person understood the land of the ancient god very well. He had a perfect handle on the three realms. According to him, he had been in the land of the ancient god for a long time, but sadly, he was blocked by the door of the last level. We successfully entered the ancient god's body. Ancient god Tu Sai really was a genius. He really did leave behind an inheritance. In the Qi Si, we saw the inheritance of power, but before we could even fight for it, it disappeared before our eyes. It was taken by Ta Sen, after that person obtained the inheritance of the ancient god's power he suddenly started to laugh hysterically. But at the same time, within the Qi Si, a giant appeared and started a huge battle with him. Then, an even more strange thing occurred, that person knew all of the giant's techniques. In the end, the giant lost and split into two. One half formed the dead soul Si, and the other started a very powerful divine technique, that person was clearly unfamiliar with the technique. I remember that he said, there is nothing you know that I don't. But this divine technique, he clearly didn't know it. The ancient god's soul split into thousands of pieces and entered that man's body, forming thousands of seals on his body, before imprisoning him in the blood sea we thought everything was over and didn't dare to stay any longer, so we all quickly left. But the nightmare had only just started. Only one of us eleven managed to successfully leave this place. The rest of us were grabbed by demonic hands that reached out from rifts that appeared into the blood sea, Tar Sen was too scary. He immediately thought of a way to break the thousands of seals on his body. Each seal was basically a fragment of the ancient god Tu Sai's soul. He forcibly took some fragments and inserted them into us in the countless years, every few thousand years, there would be a few cultivators that arrived here. They were all captured by him and had part of the seal embedded in them. Even though many people came together, he would always allow one lucky person to leave. This was so more people could come in the future, as there were more and more cultivators, the seals on Tarsen decreased. The good thing was that the later cultivators were different from us. Their cultivation was low, so they couldn't fuse with the fragments of the ancient god soul. Many cultivators could only handle one seal on their body, so the process of Tar Sen's seal removal became slower and slower, but he really was a genius. After seeing that his method was slowing down, he came up with another idea, the soul devourer, before this, we didn't even know what kind of creature a soul devourer was, but Tar Sen seemed to know. He sent us demonic cultivators to go catch a soul devourer to devour the soul fragments within his body, this method was very effective, but after the soul devourer devoured a certain amount it, he would need to sleep. That method didn't achieve Tar Sen's desired result, so he came up with the idea of raising his own soul devourer. So he helped Lord Shusha, who was a wandering soul, to grow toward becoming a soul devourer originally, for Lord Shusha to become a soul devourer it would take a very long time, but now that you appeared, everything has changed. Each of the ten people, besides a wrinkly-faced old man that looked like he had just crawled out of a grave, narrated part of that story. This caused Wang Lin to be very surprised, but he didn't believe it all, there is still one every important point that we are still wondering about, 
that is the identity of Tar Senator why is he so familiar with the ancient god's body? After observing him for countless years, we guessed that that Tar Sen isn't human like us, but a demon formed from the resentment of the dying body of the ancient god. That last sentence was said by Do Mu. His expression was calm. If Wang Lin obtained the complete inheritance of knowledge, he would know if all of this was true or false, but now, after hearing such a scary idea, he couldn't help but change his expression, only this can explain why when he invited us to enter the ancient god's body all those years ago, he was so familiar with the place and why we felt that had he changed after we broke the seal. That seal was clearly one that us cultivators used to seal away demons when they enter our bodies. This would also explain why all the techniques used by the giant were known by Tar Senator after all, just obtaining the inheritance of power is pointless. Only after obtaining both inheritances would one have the power of the ancient god. All this speculation only pointed to one thing, that person is either the ancient god Tu Sai or the demon god Tu Sai. As Do Mu's words sank in, Wang Lin sucked in a breath. A thought flashed through his head, but he stayed silent I really don't need to cheat you. If you charge into the blood sea, you'll become a tool just like the soul devourer in the third realm, and once the seal is broken, you will die. Wang Lin silently pondered for a while, then he sneered, death. I assume that by death you mean when my soul dissipates. If the story you guys told is true, when that person is free, won't he just take the soul fragments back? Do Mu's group stayed silent. Among the ten people, the old man who hadn't said a word let out a light cough. He said, in a gentle tone, fellow cultivator is indeed smart. Once Tar Sen obtains the inheritance of knowledge, he will retrieve the soul fragments in our bodies to allow his soul be to complete again. In all these years, the soul fragments have fused with our souls. To take them back will be the same as devouring our souls. Friend, helping us is helping yourself, however, I won't ask you to help for free. If you agree, I'll have a gift for you. Wang Lin didn't accept. He secretly considered how credible the things these people said were. Domu gave Wang Lin a cold glance and said, Junior, don't think we have to rely on you. We could always just kill you to avoid any trouble in the future. A dark-faced cultivator sneered, time is almost up and what was needed to be said has been said. Since this kid continues to be so thick-headed, I might as well lay down a restriction. Although it could create some inconveniences, it would make controlling him a lot easier. After Wang Lin heard this, he thought of a sarcastic remark. If such a restriction could actually work, these old guys wouldn't spend so much time talking to him. The moment he appeared, they would have used the restriction to control him. Wang Lin mulled over it a little and guessed why they didn't use the restriction. It seemed no restriction would go unnoticed by the red-haired man. These people's purpose couldn't be this simple. Like Sky Devil Magician, they must have had their own hidden plans. Wang Lin calmly said, What do you guys want me to do? The old man full of wrinkles heard what Wang Lin said and his heart skipped a beat. This person didn't ask what the reward was, but first asked what the task was. It seemed that this person was extremely calm and wouldn't be easily moved. The old man slowly said, enter the blood sea. After Tar Sen removes the seal, he will directly enter the dead soul sea. Once he opens up the dead soul sea, you must enter the dead soul sea and use a technique. It's that easy. As for what technique, it's the sealing technique the giant formed by the ancient god soul used. I studied that technique for countless years and have a 30% success rate. If you use it, you have a 70% chance of succeeding because you are a soul devourer. All the soul fragments you absorb will listen to you. Wang Lin sneered. He gloomily said, with my cultivation of only core formation, it is but a dream to seal Tar Sen, the old man let out a laugh and said, course, we aren't letting you perform the seal, but we'll let you control the soul fragments which will trigger the dead soul sea again. Based on my predictions, the dead soul sea will seal up again and completely seal Tar Sen within, if you agree, it doesn't matter if it succeeds or not, I'll give you a gift. I obtained this object after much hardship. After searching many ancient texts, I finally found the name of this object, it's Huan Yuan Beast Trap. Any animal in the world could be controlled by it for a short period of time, but its origin is unknown. In theory, if you have enough spiritual energy, even immortal beasts, if trapped by the circle, could be used by you. But when using this circle, the stronger the beast trapped within, the more spiritual energy it requires, and if you want to trap an immortal beast, then the amount of spiritual energy it requires is unimaginable. When I received it all those years ago, I tried it once but failed. However, before I could try a second time, I had already been trapped here. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.